So right now I'm outside of the Mystic Museum in Burbank, California. And the reason why we're here today is we're going to the Evil Dead experience that they have here. It's actually not inside of this building. They have another building a few blocks down. That's where the Evil Dead experience is. But we're gonna go in here, we're gonna check stuff out, buy our tickets, and then we're gonna walk down there and check out the experience. Now, I am not a huge fan of the Evil Dead movies. Uh, they're okay, I like them, I'm just not a big fan. Uh, however, my son likes them, and when, when he heard about the Evil Dead experience that they have here, he wanted to go, so I said, you know what, let's go check it out. I'll make a video because I know a lot of other people really like these movies, so I thought I'd share it with all of you. So, let's go inside, grab our tickets, and go check out the exhibit. Let's go see what we can find. Look in the people. We can be a big happy family here at the Mystic Museum. Oh, Want me to open it up? It's only you. It's time to come in! Oh my gosh. Thank you. It was kind of hard to see, but if you look through the peephole, there was a, there was a zombie girl asking us if we want to come in. So that was kind of cool. As you saw, um, they give you this little key. And I guess throughout the experience, there's different places where, uh, where you insert that key and things are going to happen. So that was the first, you know, that, that was the entrance. That was our first part of the experience. Okay, so we just discovered that the car over here, you can go around and pretend like you're sitting in it and it's got a seat there and that there's a keyhole. So we're gonna uh, go ahead. I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> okay, so I think putting the key in the keyhole just, it just played a sound clip. All right. But what's more exciting is the, oh, there's no way you're gonna, oh, there we go. That's on the inside of the car. Groovy. Uh, these are also screen used. Not sure if all of them are, but some of them. This is cool. All right, on to the next room. Oh, 
Oh, and there's a keyhole. Okay, do it. Oh, 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 it's that. <laughs> I was looking in the wrong place. Okay, we'll do it again since I was looking in the wrong place. Go ahead, put the key in the keyhole. <laughs> okay, that's it. Unfortunately, it didn't make the deer laugh. I thought that it was going to uh, make him lunge at us. That's what I was expecting. And I got some behind the scenes photos that are probably gonna be pretty hard to see because it's dark and there's a reflection here with the glass, but I'll try and show you some of them. It's pretty cool. I always like seeing behind the scenes stuff from filming. Uh, so this is pretty cool. These are screen used license plates from the car. I'm gonna assume these are also screen used gun. Let's see. Yep. Ashes boomstick screen used. That's pretty cool. Now this one's autographed. Okay, let's go into the third and I believe final room. It's pretty small. Screen used chainsaw. Ash's screen used stump hand. Different versions of his hand. Chainsaw with the uh, for him to put his arm in it right there. Is there another keyhole in here? Okay, I don't see one, but let's see how many, she said there's five keyholes. And what did we do so far? We did, uh, I think we only did two. We did this one and we did the car. I don't know if the door counts as one of the five, but, yeah. but even still that's three. So there's still two more. Maybe this elevator, we haven't gotten to this yet. My son was telling me that this is from the new movie, I guess. So let's see what the deal here is. Oh, there's a keyhole. Okay, elevator. Oh, hold on. Okay, I won't spoil it till we, we saw something up top. 
Hey, get in here. What are you doing? Why are you standing outside of the elevator? Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, that was cool. I feel like there should be a keyhole on this one. Show you what the elevator looks like from the outside. Uh, I guess it's not as cool from the outside. All right, so I think that's it for the Evil Dead stuff. We said, oh, I was about to say, we haven't found the last keyhole, but he said he found it. Where is it? It's right there. Oh, in between the, and I looked over here multiple times. Didn't see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're predicting it's going to start up the tape recorder. Go for it. Okay. Well, I think that is it for the Evil Dead stuff. There is one more room in the back, but I don't think there's Evil Dead stuff in here. Oh my God, some, what the hell's happening? I, I don't know what's going on. Oh my, oh my God. What? What? Oh. <laughs> that freaked me out and all it was was my son uh, activated the cellar door but I just noticed all of the air hoses are running through here so when he did it the, the air compressors the air hoses were going off freaked me out oh, what do we have what'd you find S -mark. oh that's pretty cool the S mart name tags I like that All right, so I guess there is still a few more uh, Evil Dead things in here. What is what is this? Are these scripts? Let's say up there. Storyboards. Storyboards. Okay. Not really much to show you. You'd have to read it. Here's some more, some more behind the scenes photos. There's other people in here now with us. I hope. Linda's necklace, screen used. Ash's wristwatch, screen used. Green-used head. And then this one, this one doesn't say screen used, so don't know. Ash's screen used outfit. All 
All right, so I was wrong about them not having Evil Dead stuff in the last room. It's just not 100% uh, Evil Dead themed, but they do have, do have a lot of stuff in here. Screen used, Evil Ash's helmet. All right, so I think that's it. We've seen everything there is to see. And now we exit through the cool door. They've got some Evil Dead merch for sale. Well, so there you have it. The Evil Dead experience presented by the Mystic Museum. And again, I just wanted to show this to you in case maybe you're not able to make it down to Burbank, but you're a big Evil Dead fan. I wanted to show you what they have inside. So what did I think? What was my honest opinion? Uh, I thought it was cool. Uh, I just thought that it was a little bit overpriced for the size. Again, that's just me. Other people might think that it was fairly priced, but uh, yeah, I think that for the size of it, Little, little pricey. Uh, it was 35 bucks for the two of us. Um, however, there was some cool stuff inside there. I enjoyed seeing all of the screen use props, uh, the behind the scenes pictures, like all of that was cool. So I did enjoy it. And if you are a massive Evil Dead fan, then I think you would really enjoy it. I would definitely recommend coming down and checking it out if you're able to. Uh, if this was for a movie, that I really loved, like say if this was for, you know, Thrashing or Vacation or Fast Times at Ridgemont High, I probably wouldn't uh, feel that it was quite as overpriced. So I think that has a little bit to do with it. But like I said, overall, cool experience. If you're an Evil Dead fan, I think that you'll enjoy it. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Give me some sugar, baby.